Uh, good morning, everybody. The three of us are very uh, privileged to be here from uh, where we come from. For us, being on the White Mount Apache tribe, that's one of the many places that's actually ground zero for uh, American colonialism. And our landscape, which we'll talk about, is very calorie rich, but for a number of reasons, it's considered a food desert. And as you'll see, we'll talk about how tripped out it is because 70% of all foods consumed around the world today originated by uh, indigenous peoples of the Americas. So the mother sauces that come from the tomato, all the spicy foods of Asia, zucchini, Swiss chocolate, Irish potatoes, it's all BS, man, it's all native foods, for real. We brought with us some, some tastes of the, uh, the, the landscape, and we're gonna mix a little bit of Apache land with stone barns, because we got some cool stuff. And for us in Western Apacheria, there's all these uh, root vegetables that we eat. There's wild carrots, wild potatoes, um, wild onions. So we're making like a, a root vegetable uh, salad and Chef will give you some, uh, some tea there. How you doing over there, Chef? Uh, I'm almost done, Chef. See, my background is classical French, but all that journey was shadowed by chemical dependency. It wasn't until I crash landed back on the res that I began to explore the universe of native foods. And that was one of the things that helped me to get clean. So I'm gonna run you through this presentation and um, I'll shut up and cook. <laughs> you want to attack a people and wipe them out? Attack their food. Millions of people all across the Americas with complex civilizations um, complex trade routes, complex societies, systematically wiped out by some of the first forms of biological warfare and terrorism, right? That happened from starting here on the East Coast. Our food system has been colonized. That's the reason that we don't have that relationship with some of those traditional foods anymore. And colonial violence has never gone away. So when you see statistics like alcoholism, diabetes, and homicide, suicide rates on reservations. Those are the physical manifestations of colonialism today in real life. And it's through foodways that we engage in a recovery from historical trauma and promote indigenous healing and self-determination. The way you consume native foods that we'll prepare today, it'll be, yeah, good, nutritious and all that, but for a group of Apache people, it would be completely different. We would reconnect with those themes of ancestral knowledge and spirituality, prayer, time, and place in a, in a healing way. What we're doing is reintroducing our young people to the land, the food, and our traditional ways of healing. Rat hunting? Yeah. Pack rat hunting. It's called glushcha. Me? Glushcha? Yeah, glushcha. May came from a shattered home, and we're thankful she's where she's at now because she's learning how to reconnect. Dida koi, tagi, plana ke tagi. And this one, watch out for these stickers, okay? Okay. Owie. The seed. This is what we're looking for. See his stuff? Yeah. That means he lives here. You do. I can't. May, come here, help me. Stab him in the head. Oh, you let him go. Oh, no, you don't want to run in there. Here, May, take a look at this. This is all rattlesnake. It's a huge rattlesnake. See this? Yeah. So he's living in there, so we can't dig in there. Yeah. Didn't mind us, Because a rattlesnake, eh? Yeah. So we'll go find another one. See if it lot. comes out this way, you hit it. Okay? Okay. You'll play that if we chase it out. Okay, I see him. Don't move. I'm scared. Step in front of him. Hit him. Got him. I 
I work with a lot of people that are living in um, shattered environments, but actually coming out here and reconnecting and healing. This is a different way of coping. It's a form of healing our ancestors have always known, and it still works. Oh, jeez. Where'd you get your rat at? Now, this one I got from near um, Takalai Lake in the mountains. <laughs> so then we just put it in here. I'm very um, selective of where I get these because you look at the surrounding area, like they kind of live like within a 25 foot radius. Mm -hmm. So in that radius, if there's medicine plant, medicine berries, I know they're eating it. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the medicine we can't eat. If we grab and eat it, it'll get yeah. us sick or either something. These guys eat it, mm -hmm. but it filters through their body. And so, so it has a healing component in that's it. What, that's what I was saying. Yeah. And when you go after these, you only want to hit on the head. So you won't ruin the body. How long was it cooking? It cooked until... It cooks until you can pull the tail and the fur falls off. Was that half an hour, hour? It just breaks off. About 15 minutes. Mm, 30. That one was more, I think. Yeah, maybe 30. 30. Okay, now see, this is how it's supposed to be. See how soft? Yeah. Okay, now try that. I'm trying to think of what it's like without saying chicken. But it's like chicken. Oh yeah, <laughs> quail. Man, this is really Soft, nice. Man. Yeah, now this is this is what you want. Spezia, mm -hmm. <laughs> Chicken. It does. How's uh, how's most of like the community members down St. Carlos? How they respond to some of this stuff? Well, I took a group of women out last Thursday. They really enjoyed it. These are women that are so stressed from work. They went out there, they and they had a ball. It's like watching a soccer game. I mean, they were running and screaming and Stick throwing ball. rocks Stick and ball. sticks. Mm. You and introduced it to any, any white dude chefs? Um, no. No? Cool. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was decent. No, <clears throat> I don't know. I think some things just stay in its own region. Yeah. yeah. Because this food source will not be accepted out there. Mm -hmm. But it's accepted in our community. Mm -hmm. So when you see something like this, it wakes you up. Yeah. So China can sick, la. It wakes you up. You know, as you think about it, it's even emotional because you think of all these the patchy relatives throughout history hunting and cooking these, you know? Mm -hmm. It's making me um, question how humble I really am, you know? Like, Am I really humble when it comes down to, mm -hmm. to eating and cooking and appreciating, you know? Like, it's, it's kind of making me think, like, I really don't know anything still, you know? You know, it's nothing until you get your first taste of gloss cho. <laughs> 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 this is the best part, okay? Wow. You're going to like this. Here you go, Nephi. Yeah, it's good to me. <laughs> <laughs>